Hi! In this week's episode, we're going to make bread. I gotta tell you, it smells so good when bread is baking in the house, but I don't bake bread. I live with people that do. Join us and we'll show you how it's done. Where's the butter? Hi, this is Tweek. Today I'm going to talk about bread. Who doesn't love bread? In fact, this was baked here in our kitchen, but not by me. I find baking bread just a little bit intimidating, but I'm more than happy to say where's the butter when I see a loaf of bread. But I'd like to talk a little bit about bread. There's all kinds of books out there in the world that will help people like me that feel a little bit uncomfortable with thinking about making bread. And one of my favorite authors of cookbooks is Mary Berry. She's a very lovely British lady. And she said here in the beginning of one of her cookbooks, she wrote this book in the hopes that it would encourage more people to take up home baking and to show inexperienced cooks and bakers that making things aren't as complicated as they might first appear. Hmm. That's very lovely, Mary Berry, but I'm still one that would say, take me to the bakery, you guys make it, I'll eat it. A few Christmases ago, my son-in-law gifted us a book, America's Test Kitchen, Bread Illustrated. And what's nice about this book, it helps to demystify some of the anxiety people like me feel when you think, well, how do we bake bread? I need to understand it a little better. And the intro in this book, I'll read just a little bit of it, said, Despite the increased interest and appetite for bread, bread baking at home can be intimidating and downright disappointing. That would be me. The alchemy of bread baking is unlike that of any other kitchen project. Stitching together a loaf from the most basic of ingredients, flour, water, yeast, and salt, is satisfying, even relaxing. But the way these ingredients magically turn from a pale lump of dough into a beautifully browned loaf can seem like a total mystery. And there you have it. The mystery for me is I'm going to let somebody else do it for me, but I'm going to explain to you and myself in the process and how exactly that bread making is done. So here we go into the kitchen with my husband, Douglas, and we'll make some white bread. So don't be as scared, we're going to make some bread. We start out with our ingredients. Sugar, salt, yeast, milk, flour, and there's the list. Make sure you start with hot water, 160 degrees or more, and we're going to throw the butter in there. Take three tablespoons of butter, then slice them and drop them into the hot water. As the butter's melting, you will add three tablespoons of sugar to the butter in the water. It's funny that all these ingredients will go towards feeding the yeast. Next comes some salt, two teaspoons. Give it a good stir. Make sure they're all mixed in together and all dissolved. Time for some milk. One half cup of milk. While the liquid mixture is cooling down, you're going to add flour to your mixer, five cups. Time for some yeast. You add yeast to the flour and integrate the two so that they're 
The yeast is well mixed throughout the flour. And when the water and milk mixture comes down to 105 degrees, it is at the right temperature for adding in with the flour and the yeast. The liquid mixture you add to the flour and yeast, the sugar feeds the yeast and the salt keeps it in check. And the yeast is going to say, oh good, here comes all the stuff I need to make bread. And you run the mixer for two minutes. The first minute on low speed, make sure things don't come flying out of the bowl. Once a ball is formed, push it up one notch to second speed. And you want to keep going until the dough pulls away from the bowl cleanly, but it's still a little bit sticky. If the dough looks too dry, add a little more water. And if it looks too wet, add a little more flour. But you want it to be sticky and pulling away from the side of the bowl. After eight minutes, you're ready to get it out of that bowl and move on to the next step. We're taking the dough out and putting it on your surface to start kneading. This is where the satisfying and relaxing part comes in. The dough smells good, it feels nice, it's just fun to play with. And what's happening here is just punching down the dough, flattening it out a little bit, pulling it towards you and moving the outside corner in. The kneading is only for a minute or two until you get a nice soft consistency in the dough. And you curl it under and make a nice ball out of it. Putting a little bit of olive oil in the bowl puts a nice film over the dough and we're getting ready to proof it. We set it in a proof box or cover it up with a towel and put it in a warm, cozy, draft-free spot for it to rise. What's happening as the dough is proofing, what's causing the dough to rise is the glucose and other carbohydrates turn into carbon dioxide in the dough. That creates an alcohol which gives the dough its flavor and makes the dough double in its size. After the dough has risen, you dump it out onto your surface. Oh, watch it flatten out. That is fun. We cut the dough into two pieces and weigh it. We want to make them as equal in weight as we can so the scale is there. And you're going to cover them with some wax paper with a little bit of spray oil on it and let them sit, let them rest 10 minutes or so. The pans are sprayed with a coating of spray, cooking spray. And here again, shape them into a rectangle and roll them up, pulling towards you. So the end of the dough that's closest to you, just pat it down onto the surface a little bit. It'll make the rolling a little easier. Pull it towards you, 
tightly, tuck in the ends, and put it seam side down into the pan. And it's ready to poof again. And there's your loaf. Second one, same thing. Flatten it out into a rectangle. Pinch the ends closest to you a little bit to the counter surface. Tuck in the ends, put it seam down, and away it goes. If you don't have a poof box, a towel in a nice cozy spot is perfectly fine for poofing your bread. It'll take about 45 minutes to an hour for the bread to rise up an inch above the pan is what you're looking for. You can heat up the oven while you're waiting. 400 degrees for a regular oven, 375 for a convection oven. Doesn't that look good? It'll look better once it's baked. So let's put it into the oven. In it goes. And in 25 minutes, you'll have beautiful loaves of bread. You can check it after 10 minutes, but don't let too much of the heat out if you're going to check on it because you don't want the bread to collapse. After 25 minutes, it is baked. Your house is going to smell so good. Out they come. Yum. Perfect. Get it out of the loaf pan. Put them onto a cooling rack and let them cool. And boy, wherever you are baking this bread, it's going to smell delicious. Dig in. Time for a taste. Time for some butter, some jam, a toaster. You name it. <laughs> eat, eat, eat. Yum, yum, yum. And there you have it. Doesn't that look delicious? I wish you could smell how good it smells. So if you like what you've seen here today, subscribe to our channel. Give that bell a jingle so you know when our next episode will be. And give us a like. I hope this episode has helped you be a little less intimidated when you bake your bread. And please do because it is well worth the effort. See you again. Where's the butter? <laughs>